Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you how to create a spreadsheet out of a hashtag on Twitter using Zapier. And then we're going to look at another tool that might make it a little bit easier. So the first thing we need to do is go and create that spreadsheet. We can do that, little known fact, if you go to sheets.new, it'll automatically create a new spreadsheet for you. So we'll call this listener feedback. And then we will have the name, the tweet, and the handle. I'm not sure if name and handle are separated, uh, but that's okay. We will figure that out in a minute. So this will be everything here. I'll save that and then we'll bump over to Zapier. So we'll make a zap. I'm going to search for Twitter. That will be the, uh, the trigger when something happens on Twitter. I want the action to be saving it to uh, Google Sheets. So I'll search mention. Uh, I have connected my Twitter account here. So I'll click continue. I'll use my Twitter account. And then I'll click continue again. And then we need to add the search term. So I use ask Hibby, ask how I built it uh, as the feedback hashtag. So I will put that in as the search term and then I'll test my trigger. And great, we have at least one mention here. So I'll click continue and then do this. I will search for Google Sheets and then I will create a spreadsheet row. So I wanna create a new row in this spreadsheet when the hashtag is used. I've connected my Google Sheets account. I want the sheet to be pulled from my Google Drive. I want the sheet to be listener feedback and the worksheet will just be the first sheet there, sheet one. So name will be the full name, perfect. The tweet will be the text of the tweet. And then the handle will be the username. Perfect. That filled out really nicely. I'll click continue. And then I will test and review. Okay. So it looks like this worked. If I go back to Google Sheets, we have some new text in here. We have, yeah, the name, the tweet, and the handle. Perfect. So now it's ready to turn on and now we are ready to capture the hashtags using Zapier. I'm going to share this zap in the video description below uh, so that you can take this and use it. But I also want to show you uh, perhaps another way that you can do it if you're not using Zapier. And that is with IFTTT. So IFTTT stands for if this, then that. They have something called track hashtag mentions. I'll click connect and then I have to log in. But this might be a better path for you if you're not using Zapier or you're looking for a free option. IFTTT might be a good way to do it. One more thing is if we go back to Zapier, and if we duplicate this, oh, I haven't even named this app. Let me name this tweet hashtag to Google Sheet. Okay. Now it's named. So if we duplicate this, we can copy it. And I'm going to change the trigger to email. And I haven't set this up. I'm actually going to change it to Gmail. So I haven't set this up, so we're not going to walk through the whole thing, but Gmail is a trigger and we can have new email matching search or we can just have new email. So if there's a specific mailbox, you can have any emails sent to that mailbox added to a Google Sheet. So you can have a Zapier zap that does that as well as the hashtag. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below or in the Facebook Student Center. And like I said, I'll have a link to both Zapier and IFTTT for you to be able to do this as well.